Good day YouTube. Today um, I want to build a little wall clock for my office. I always wanted one so that's a great opportunity and I'm gonna start ripping a whole bunch of little slabs 3-8 thick all the way down. Then I gotta laminate them and uh, glue them up and all that and that will give me enough material for my wall clock. Okay, I just finished ripping 25 pieces, 3 8 thick and 18 inches long. It took a whole 2 by 3 8 feet long. I'm letting this dry and the next step once it's dry I'm gonna glue the six faces all together sand and plane all the faces so it's nice on the outside Uh, because of the lamination there's a little variance not too much but but with the plane it ensures that everything is really flat now I just need a little fine sanding and that's it It's all dry all around. Now I'm going to put the top and bottom on. I'm gonna let that dry for about 15 minutes or so. It's so thin that it dries almost instantly. So after that, I'm just gonna sand that and we're gonna start on the trim. What I did is uh, I marked them the length I want. I want them sticking out an inch on each side. pieces are short about a quarter of an inch on each end so what I'm going to do is still do a 45 but what I'm going to do is start my 45 here at a quarter of an inch the four corners are like this so that's what I'm going to do on every corner and uh, that way I won't have to cut more lumber
There, I'm done the trimming, that trimming. Now I'm gonna do the bead inside. I just cut out the bead. Now I just have to sand it and refine it. Looks pretty nice. Here's a little trick on the corner where my trim is. On the 45, I had just a small little gap, maybe a 32nd or something. I just put in some glue in, in the crack and I took some shavings from my plane and I just stuffed it in there with an X-Acto blade. Once it's dry and you sand it, you won't be able to tell. There's the gap that filled up with uh, plane shavings. Once I have the Danish oil on there, it's not going to show at all. Maybe just a little bit. Now I'm going to put the top part, sit it right on there and let it dry. My hole is made from the, for the clock. The base is glued, unclamped. All right, folks, I'm done, and that's what we get. And that's going to go on my dresser. So there you have it. There you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this project. I know I had some fun. On that note, I'll catch you guys in my next video.